Well, demand for diamonds is definitely recovering following the worst of the pandemics. I mean, who needed to glitter up when you're stuck at home in the lockdowns? But that new demand is being met with a sharp increase in rough diamond prices, which have skyrocketed some 24% year to date. And by the way, in just the last 24 hours, the Economic Times reports an outbreak of the new Omicron variant in the key diamond mining regions of South Africa and Botswana have left cutting and polishing units unable to replenish the stock needed to stay on track. With the crucial holiday buying season here, let's join and find out how Signet Jewelers, the world's largest diamond jewelry retailer, is going to navigate pricing and sales. Signet CEO Gina Drossos joins us now. Signet, of course, the parent of Kay, Zales, Diamonds Direct, Jared, and so many more. All right, Gina, great to have you. Thank you very much. 12 days until Christmas, so we're in the final laps here. Tell us how you're matching inventory with demand at your stores right now. Well, thanks so much for having me, Liz. Um, the great news at Signet is that we are stocked and staffed for holiday. Our team got way out in front of ordering our holiday merchandise, more newness in our stores this year uh, than we've seen before. I think a competitive advantage in terms of the price points that we have. Um, that's one of the benefits of our scale. We're able to partner with strategic vendors. We got our product on time. We're, um, we're priced to help people really be able to celebrate the holiday season. Well, that's great. I mean, you also have always been known for real value prices, and that's why you have a huge number of people flocking to you. But how does that even begin to tackle the inventory problem? And I suppose you could match the supply chain issue with the Omicron variant uh, that's hitting some diamond mines in Africa. Well, our supply chain is a long one in the diamond business. Obviously, stones are mined, they're cut and polished. We have our own cutting and polishing facility in Botswana, so we're part of that equation. We've done uh, everything in Botswana that we have, frankly, in all of our stores in the markets that we compete in to keep our employees safe. And we have seen lower rates of COVID in all of our facilities, frankly, than uh, including Botswana, than in the neighboring areas around. So our our team is safe. They're continuing to produce high quality diamonds. We'll see those coming through the supply chain probably six or eight months from now. Um, but what's selling right now at Holiday was in the supply chain a while ago, and we're ready. Well, I'm so glad to hear that everybody's safe at, at your operations in Botswana. There is that question, though, of you know, the sheer number of people you need to be polishing and cutting these diamonds on the ground in Africa. You know, what are you seeing, and how are you staggering shifts there? Well, it's something that we're always very thoughtful about. Mm -hmm. We have quite a distributed supply chain, so we're not only cutting and polishing in Botswana. That's one of many locations. There are many uh, different vendors that we work with in India, some suppliers also in China. Um, as you might know, there are some very interesting things going on with um, cut and polished stones right now. We're seeing success both with larger carat weight natural diamonds. Uh, diamond fashion is really trending, both for men and women, but we're also seeing success with lab-created diamonds. So there really is quite a bit for customers to choose from this holiday. I'm so glad you brought up lab-created diamonds. About three years ago, we started being inundated with CEOs of lab-grown diamonds, and I found the whole process fascinating because lab-grown diamonds start with a diamond seed from an existing diamond, and then it's obviously subjected to super high pressure, speeding up what would normally take millions and millions of years to create a, a natural diamond. Uh, millennials are very interested in that because you don't have that environmental impact of actual mining when you're dealing with lab-grown diamonds. What are the trends for the younger consumer? Well, younger consumers is a group that we really pay a lot of attention to, Gen Z, millennials. Um, the average age of getting engaged in the U.S. is 27 for women, 29 for men. Uh, this has been a huge year for engagements up high single digits versus a typical pre-COVID year. And uh, will depend, of course, on Omicron. But if we see the record number of weddings we're expecting next year, the most likely people to get engaged are ones who are just at someone else's wedding. So this is a consumer group that we stay very close to. 
It's one of the reasons why we've decided at Signet to become a leader in ESG. So we believe that we're a leader in the company culture that we're creating. We've taken up pay for our employees in the last year. We have a company purpose called Inspiring Love, which means that we are here to uh, every day to, to uh, inspire love with our customers, with our team, and in the communities that we live in. So we're very philanthropic. And we've been leading the diamond industry in responsible sourcing and sustainability practices. So that's very important to this younger generation. And it's important to all of us at Signet as well. I mean, that's really something. Two and a half million weddings predicted for next year. I'm hearing that venues are entirely booked. People can't even people can't even get in to get married on a Friday or Saturday night. They're getting calls from venues saying, I think we got something on Wednesday at seven. Uh, that's got to mean a lot for you guys. If people who had put off their weddings are now suddenly trying to buy rings. Right. Well, it's it's an exciting time. I think, um, you, you know, from a bridal standpoint, I mean, one of the, the things that we've seen come out of COVID is that people are spending more money on fewer people because they've been quarantining with them. They've been spending a lot of time with the people that they love. And so they want to express that. So whether it's buying an engagement ring or buying a, a nice gift for your partner or your spouse for Christmas or for you know the holiday season, we've been seeing um, an, a rise in average transaction value. At Signet, we also are seeing a rise in conversion. I think that's really due to all the new capabilities we've put in mm. place. I mean, you can buy online pickup in store. You can pick up curbside. We even have same-day delivery from over 800 locations in the U.S., almost like oh, a, a okay. DoorDash or Uber Eats, but for jewelry. <laughs> okay. So it's very easy um, for us to be able to serve our customers a lot of different ways. Ah, the world of diamonds has changed. DoorDashing your diamond. Hey, it's great to have you, Jenna. Good luck. Uh, it's a crazy holiday season. I know we wish you the best. The stock up more than 200% year to date, uh, and we'll be following it. Thanks so much. Thank you very much. Happy holidays. And you too.